So welcome to this new topic, uh, differentiating lung collapse from consolidation and how ultrasound is better than x-ray in doing so. Now, just a look at the normal x-ray, you can see this black area, the trachea dividing into the two bronchi. But beyond this, within the lungs, the bronchial division cannot be seen and the reason is the black area of the alveoli which are filled with air so there is no contrast so you cannot see the bronchi which are here you can see these bright areas which are pulmonary vessels now let us see this picture now here you can make out just we have magnified this picture you can see the alveoli and you can see uh, the various branches of the airways right up to the bronchioles. Now, as I told you, normally air is there in the alveoli and air is there in the airways as well. So there is no contrast and you cannot make out the two as different. Now, what happens when the alveoli they become bright? Now, whenever they become bright, there is a chance of seeing the bronchi. You can see in this case, for example, there is a bright patch and here you can see the dark areas of bronchi within the lung. Now, this is known as air bronchogram. Why we are seeing this air bronchogram? because of the pathology in the alveoli which is making it bright. Now pathology in the alveoli can be in the form of secretions or in the form of some mass which is changing its look from black to white or it can be the collapse of the lung. Now what happens in the collapse of the lung? The alveoli they become airless. So they don't have air inside. They collapse and again that produces a bright patch. Now what's the difference between the two things? Consolidation and collapse. What happens in collapse? There's an obstruction. The obstruction can be at this level or at this level. Now it can be within the airway which can lead to collapse of these alveoli or it can be an extrinsic compression like pleural effusion. So these alveoli will collapse and they will appear bright because they don't have air inside. But along with the collapse of these alveoli, there will be a collapse of these airways as well. So you cannot see the airways also. So you won't be able to get the air bronchogram which you will be getting when there is consolidation because in consolidation the alveoli they don't collapse. They are more or less normal in size or maybe they are increased in size because of secretions or so. While in cases of collapse they reduce in size and along with their collapse the airways also collapse. So air bronchogram is basically used in differentiating between collapse and consolidation. In consolidation you see air bronchi, in collapse you don't see. Now many times what happens, the bronchi, there is an obstruction for example at this level here and as a result uh, this is collapsed and the alveoli also collapsed. But, but there may be some collateral collateral ventilation because of this what may happen here the bronchi may still be having some air and that can produce an air bronchogram so air bronchogram may be seen in few cases of collapse because of collateral ventilation now the obstruction remains at this level in cases of collapse although you are seeing air here but there is an obstruction here so if you try a dynamic air bronchogram a dynamic air bronchogram will show you movement of the air up and down now this movement of the air 
up and down will be seen when there is no obstruction here as in cases of consolidation but this movement of the air up and down will not be seen in cases of air seen in cases of collapse so the bronchogram in cases of collapse is a static bronchogram while in cases of consolidation we get a dynamic bronchogram now this static and dynamic differentiation cannot be done on an x ray but ultrasound can help us in making out now let us see what the ultrasound does now here on ultrasound first of all you should know that collapse and consolidation may have a similar look and uh, that is more like a liver tissue and that is the reason we call it hepatization now you can see this is an area of hepatization and we can see some patchy bright areas of air which represent air bronchogram now let us see the dynamic part with the respiration now with respiration you can see these air particles are moving up and down the fact they are moving up and down means that there is no proximal airway obstruction which means this is a case of consolidation and not collapse let us see another picture see here again you can see these air particles they are moving up and down you can see hepatized area of the lung and this hepatized area of the lung suggests that this is a case of consolidation and not collapse because not only we are seeing the air bronchogram but we are seeing the air bronchogram moving up and down let us see this case now by the looks you can get an idea that this is probably a case of collapse because we can see a lot of uh, pleural effusion around it and usually pleural effusion will result in collapse and we can see some small bright spots which represent air bronchogram let us see how it looks in dynamic and you can see here that uh, with breathing there is no change these bright areas they remain there they don't move up and down which means that this air bronchogram is static let us see again here this case again hepatized area and there is pleural effusion around it and we can make out that these bright areas of air they don't move up and down which means this is a static bronchogram of collapse now remember that the bright areas on an x ray can be collapse they can be consolidation or they can be even pleural effusion now pleural effusion when it is free it will be occupying the cp angles but when it is loculated it may be anywhere but again you have to keep in mind that pleural fusion will not be having a bronchogram reason being pleural fusion is fluid collection within the pleura so here we don't have any bronchi so there is never a confusion in differentiating pleural fusion between collapse and consolidation so that's all thank you